You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. I'm your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and this is just a quick daily insight about how the energy is working today and how that will work with each of your signs. So what we're doing on this new offering is look at the overall collective energy and then each of the sun sign and rising signs. And I also have a card that we'll look at to see how the astrology and the tarot are working together. Now, just as a reminder, underneath this broadcast, you will find a link for a free chart and other ways that you can connect with your personal astrology, including reports. There's also a membership for less than $5 a month that gives you discounts on those reports and working with me and a great calendar that has a lot of these astrological insights already embedded in them. So you don't have to wait for the broadcast to understand how you can work with and schedule your fate. All right. So again, today we are talking about September the 24th, and this is a quarter moon day. There is a lot of tension in the air, whether that is out loud or you're just sort of feeling it in your psyche. You could feel just a little bit edgy or a little bit grumpy, not really sure how you want to move forward with something, but you're more than likely going to get an indicator that says, this is why this needs to end, or this is why I need to start this. Now, as we kick off this day, depending on where you are in the world, we do have a two hour and 52 minute void mood, of course. Now, a void mood, of course, is a period of time where we do not want to initiate anything new. We want to process what has just happened. So we're set up for success and ready to move into that next story. So it's not a good time to send out a launch email. It's not a good time to say, hey, can we meet on this? If you have any meetings during this period of time or any social media posts, there's no fruition that's going to come with it. So Try to take a little bit of a time out in the morning. That void mood, of course, happens at 6.58 a.m. Central Time Zone, and it will end at 9.50 a.m. when the moon moves into Cancer. Now, again, if you're part of my Moongate membership, this is already in that calendar that you get for less than $5 a month, along with other goodies. So today we do have the moon moving into Cancer, and we also have another potent transit that we're working with, which is Mercury trying Uranus. Now, transits are like sunrises and sunsets. We always sense them coming, feel them coming, see them coming. We peak and then we watch that energy fade. So you have likely been working with Mercury trying Uranus for a couple of days now, depending on how intuitive you are or how locked into this energy that you're working with. But these two energies invite you to think outside of the box. Something that you thought was impossible is more than likely possible but you're going to have to lean into the edge of your comfort zone. And we'll talk more about that as we get into the horoscopes for each sun and rising sign. Now, that moon moving into Cancer is going to really ask you to tap into the emotional underlying current that you're working with. You're going to feel connected to everyone, which could complicate or clarify some of the decisions that you have to make as you move throughout this day. All right, so let's get into the signs now. So we're going to begin with Libra because that is where the sun is in the sky. So if you are a Libra, a Libra rising, that Mercury Uranus energy that we are working with today is more so behind the scenes. It's on the subconscious. It's really asking you to dig up some of those triggers that you have and how they can lead to some breakthroughs or transitions that you have around a legacy or a shared wealth or a deep intimate project that you're working on. So there's a lot of behind the scenes mind work that you're doing around those very private areas of your life. But ironically, as the moon shifts into cancer, you have a lot of energy focused on your reputation, your leadership, or how you're known in the world. There's a lot of emotional connections that you're being asked to dial into, but I think you're going to find the answers that you're looking for by going within. That's going to help you understand how you need to lead and harmonize with this energy. Okay, so Cancer, the card that you have for today is a Four of Cups. Now, this energy is ruled by your sign, the third deacon of Cancer. I love how this is mirroring the astrology because it sometimes represents, this card can sometimes represent a missed opportunity. Like you're so inwardly focused that you don't see that you have a gift waiting for you on the outside. So definitely pay attention to how you feel as the moon moves into Cancer today. What does it tell you about your sense of purpose and your authority? How can you harmonize all corners of your life? Kind of dig in, find those breakthrough moments with in and you're going to find a way to shine without. All right. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So if you are a Scorpio or a Scorpio rising today, that transit is perfecting with Mercury and Uranus is going to really impact your social circles. It could be that you're really inspired by a group that you're around and you're thinking, what if we did it this way? Or what if we did it that way? Your partner could have some surprising news that maybe you anticipated or didn't anticipate. And because it's there, you have to pivot and that impacts or has this domino effect through other areas of your life. But trust that you have exactly what you need to solve this issue. And once the moon moves into cancer, that 
that will inspire a little bit of edge or tension when it comes to the question of where do I go from here? How can I solve this problem? So I feel like I am expressing myself. My passions are well supported. What is the answer that I need to look for? And it could be that you're really entangled in trying to work through that social drama or dilemma or breakthrough that you're not seeing the force of the trace. You don't understand how you can unpack the direction you're going in. But I also think that there's more than likely something that you're realizing needs to end so something can begin. Scorpio, your card of the day is a seven of wands. Now, seven of wands represents the third deacon of Leo, which has in your chart as a rising sign of Scorpio, has a lot to do with your career and your reputation, how you're known. And this really is about staking your claim and saying, okay, what is what do I need to uncover to understand what's going on here? So again, this sort of represents or falls back on that idea that you're going to have to understand what is not being said or that hidden truth that's happening in your social circle so you understand what direction to go in. So it could be a little bit dicey, but if anyone can understand how to dig in and find the opportunity, it's definitely you, Scorpio. See you tomorrow. All right. If you are a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius rising today, that Mercury Uranus transit that is perfecting is going to impact something that has to do with your overall health and wealth. There could be a messenger or a breakthrough, maybe even someone useful when it comes to your reputation, your career, that's saying, you know what, what do we, what if we did this? What if we changed our habit, our workflow? What would that do? What would that look like? How could we support ourselves and our resources overall? I really encourage you to kind of lean into those out of the box questions because the habits that you're being asked to break are going to take you out of your comfort zone, or it could feel like it's constricting you because it's going to ensure that it locks you into a routine. And that's not your most favorite thing to do, Sagittarius, but it will pay off if you work with that. Now, once that moon moves into Cancer and we get to that quarter moon, there could be some edgy energy that you're working with that comes from transformation. Like you have to end this to begin this. So you may realize that I have to break this habit in order to find the success that I'm looking for. That's where the tension can be. It could also be with an intimate partner or anything that has to do with shared wealth or finances. And this energy is represented by the first deacon of Sagittarius, which is in your sign. And it really does say, you know what, we have to go in this direction. So even though there's a lot of speed and rapid action that seems like it's happening in your overall health and wealth, and that transition can feel a little bit edgy, I think you're going to land on the top. You just have to lean into the routine that feels natural to you. And all routines feel unnatural as you begin those. So keep that in mind. All right. See you tomorrow. Now, if you are a Capricorn or a Capricorn rising, today's perfecting transit of Mercury and Uranus is going to impact things that are really passionate for you, things that you love without condition. It could be that you have an idea or an inspiration, like you want to go here, you want to learn this, you want to explore this. Now you figured it out. And it's been a long time trying to understand this. You've been kind of juggling with this idea throughout the whole summer or midsummer, and now you're ready to go. And it's really opening up some creative avenues for you. You're thinking, what if I changed it up this way? What if I connected in a different way? So lean into those out-of-box ideas, especially when it comes to creative pursuits. Definitely lean into interesting relationships or connections, things that are quirky that really speak to your heart overall. If you are a Capricorn or a Capricorn rising, today's transit of Mercury and Uranus is perfecting is really going to highlight things that you love without condition, people, places, and things, but also a new direction. You may feel like you have finally found your voice or you're understanding your conviction, something you've been toying with for weeks, and now you have the breakthrough. You have this understanding that if I lean outside of my comfort zone, I'm going to figure my way through this energy. Now, as the moon goes into cancer, there's going to be a little bit of edge or tension around your partnerships or your clients. Just be mindful of this energy and ask yourself, What am I ready to change and how can I change it? So your card of the day is the king of cups reversed. I find this really interesting because that quarter moon is in your partnership. So it could represent that you may be getting some bad advice. And that advice is that you have this epiphany, you have this change. And one of your partners is like, do you really want to do that? Do you understand the ramifications of that energy? And I would encourage you to think within. This is also a card that represents that third deacon of Aquarius which is what rules Uranus, which is involved in this entire astrological energy that we're working with. You're invited to think outside the box, to come up with an original plan. And if that partner is not on the same page as you, then you need to go within and understand what your truth is. And that'll help you find your way through. All right. If you're an Aquarius or an Aquarius rising, that transit that's perfecting today with your modern ruler has a lot to do with your home and your foundations and your roots, but also your legacy and a deep, intimate partnership that you are entangled in. Now, it's you've been trying to untangle or work with this energy for a long time, that Mercury retrograde this summer, kind of coming into the early months of September. 
Like there was a lot of back and forth energy, but now you have the clarity. Now you're able to kind of see what it was worth, that unorthodox, out of the box idea that can really propel you forward. So lean into things that are just a little bit outside of your comfort zone today. Now, as the moon moves into Cancer and we have that quarter moon energy, there could be some tension around your work or your habits or the rituals that you're doing. And you may be thinking, I, I love this. I'm passionate about this, but I have to change all of these routines up to support my overall health and wealth. But there is something in that habitual pattern that you're working on that is ready to end so something else can begin. So really think about the emotional ties and connections that you have and ask yourself, what are you willing to change? Are you ready to change? Now, your card of the day is a reversed five of cups. So this is an energy that says we do have to let go of something to go in a new direction. Like we have used all the resources where we are and we have to accept that this change is coming in. It is about moving on, about finding inner peace. And in some way or another, this is a no. No, you cannot stay where you are. Yes, you have to go towards this change. So kind of keep that in mind. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so if you are a Pisces or a Pisces rising, today's perfecting energy of Mercury and Uranus is gonna really highlight something around your partnerships and your local environment, how you think, how you communicate. Your partner can inspire a great idea and you feel like that just changes up your routine, how you approach your life day in and day out. There's a lot of fun out of the box ideas that you can work with today. So be sure to lean into those changes, lean into those opportunities. Now, as the man comes into cancer, we have a little bit of that tension. You may have a little bit of argument or stressors around your romantic relationships or people, places, and things that you love without condition. There's something here that says what's ready to end and what's ready to begin. What changes do I need to make? And I know you're not the biggest fan of conflict, but by avoiding conflict, you're going to create that. So lean into out-of-the-box ideas and you're going to find the solutions that you need. Now, your card of the day is the High Priestess Upright. So overall, this is a, a maybe kind of energy. Maybe you're going in the right direction. Really kind of dial into your intuition. But it's all about the sacred knowledge, the truth that you are carrying. It's definitely represented by the moon. So I think there is a highlighted energy around those romantic relationships that you're working with today. Is this going to go forward? Is it going to stay still? It's a little bit in the mix. It depends on how much you share, how much they share, what you're willing to do to make healthy actions and changes to support your overall life and definitely feel comfortable in the routine of your life. You don't want to sacrifice who you are and you definitely don't want anyone else to sacrifice who they are. All right, if you are an Aries or an Aries rising, that energy of Mercury and Uranus perfecting today is going to highlight two areas that support your overall health and wealth. I think you may have a great breakthrough when it comes to the ritual or the routine or the work that you do that gives you an out-of-the-box, unique and extraordinary way to earn your resources or build up your self-esteem. But as the moon moves into Cancer, there could be a little bit of a tension or an argument or something a little bit uncomfortable at home. But whatever that is, it's inspiring you to make the changes that you know are going to support you, not only in the short term, but in the long term. So be sure to follow your intuition. So Aries, your card of the day is 10 of cups. Now this energy is represented by the third deacon of Pisces. So I do think there's a lot of endings and beginnings. So there's something very private behind the scenes that you're working on. There's a release of tension, but in order to release it, you have to acknowledge it and celebrate it. It's all about divine love and divine harmony and celebrating that accomplishment. But sometimes we have to go through a little bit of closure and tension to get to the other side. But Aries, you're not afraid of taking that leap of faith and figuring it out as you go. I do hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. If you are a Taurus or a Taurus rising today, that Mercury and Uranus energy that is in trying and perfecting has a lot to do with who you are as an individual, but also what you love without condition, people, places, and things. There's likely to be a breakthrough, something exciting, something that breaks your pattern or gives you a lot of creative energy that says, what if we did it this way? Finally, I understand. I went through that, but now I'm here. And wow, I'm extraordinarily inspired about where I can go from here. Now, when the moon moves into cancer, that could bring a little bit of tension or unrest when it comes to siblings or friends, aunts and uncles, how you're thinking about things, how you feel connected to something. It could also bring some tension into just your overall social circle. So you and another person in the network that you're connected to. You're understanding something has to end in order for something to begin. And that can be hard, especially because this could have a lot to do with family that you have chosen, which means that you're, oh, those are your friends, people that you brought into your life. How do you need to make those changes and how can that support you?
All right. So if you are a Taurus or a Taurus rising, your card of the day is nine of wands. And I think that's interesting because it represents the third deacon of Sagittarius. And if you are a Taurus rising, that represents transitions being at the end of a transitional path. I have gone through these endings and these beginnings and I'm ready to begin again. And you can see how is this this card is defending where it stands. It's wounded, but it's, it respects and honors everything that it has so far. And it's ready to build on what is working, but it also understands it needs that courage and perseverance to let go of things that are no longer working. So that's something to hold on to with that quarter moon in Cancer as we get closer to the next eclipse. All right, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, if you are a Gemini or a Gemini rising, that transit that's perfecting today between your ruling planet, Mercury, and Uranus has to do with very private behind the scene matters. Think about your home and something on the subconscious level. There is a clarity, a breakthrough, like I understand what that whole Mercury retrograde situation was about over the summer and into the early part of this month, and you're ready to move forward. You have the plan that you need to do. You have the plan to work with, and it's probably coming from a spontaneous, out-of-the-box, unique, unorthodox way of thinking of something, something swelled up from the subconscious. So look for those breakthrough ideas. Now, as the moon moves into Cancer, we have that quarter energy. There could be some challenges around your earning power or your resources or what's important to you and why it's important to you. There's some stagnant energy here that says we have to end this to begin this, but you're not really sure how to work with that. Trust that if you look for duality, if you look for solutions, you're going to find them, but you may have to look within to find them without. Now, this energy represents the second deacon of Virgo, which is not really where Mercury is, but it's in that same house. So a lot of the answers that you're looking for are coming from within. This is all about finding strength there and wisdom there and compassion. What is your self-worth? Is it being respected? Is there any changes that you want to make? And also give yourself a good reality check with this energy. Make sure that you're not like rewarding yourself for something that hasn't happened or false success. Like, Yes, we did this. We, we, we padded the numbers. We, we made sure the social media post said that we did great, but really there were some challenges there. Be really truthful, this energy. Clean up within and you're going to shine without. All right, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, hi, Cancer and Cancer Rising. All right, so the transit that's perfecting today with Mercury and Uranus has a lot to do with your social circles. There could be a breakthrough, an out-of-the-box idea, some news that you didn't expect, some gossip, some rumors are some, finally, I got the answer I needed. Now I know what I need to do next that you're working with. It is a nice flowing energy. So I think no matter how unexpected it comes emotionally, you are going to be ready to make those changes. Now, speaking of being ready to make these changes, when you do have a quarter moon in your sign, so there could be some emotional tensions that you're working with. It could impact every corner of your life. But what they're inviting you to do is look at what's ready to end. So you're ready to begin something else. If you can hold that in your mind and say, how can I process this in a healthy way for all sides and focus on the solutions? I think you will find them. Cancer and Cancer Rising, your card of the day is the Page of Wands. So you are getting ready to begin something new. This is a creative opportunity for you that you're working with. It's all about those intuitive messages. What are you being asked to do within? If you listen to that inner voice, you're going to have everything you need to do to face some of these challenges that you're having on an external level. I hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow. Leo and Leo Risings. Today, that energy that is perfecting with Mercury and Uranus is highlighting something that has to do with your overall health and wealth. There is a breakthrough or an epiphany or something that is happening around your self-esteem or how you just approach your resources and values in general. There could be a pivot or a breakthrough or it's just something remarkable and out of the box, unorthodox happens around your authority or authority figures. Look for that. This is a flowing energy, so no matter how unexpected the change is, I think you're going to really like how it unfolds. Now, that quarter moon that we're dealing with, once the moon moves into Cancer, there's going to be some tension behind the scenes, maybe some internal anxiety or some subconscious things that you're working with, and you're being asked. This is an area of your life that's all about what needs to end so something can begin. What is hindering my mind and body balance? and How can I tap into this energy and really grow into these opportunities that I have? Now, your card of the day is the Knight of Cups. Now, this is a yes energy in general. So if you're asking a yes or no question to spirit or the universe, the answer is yes. If you're ready to go off into this adventure, there's a lot of creativity and romance with it. This is also a card that has to do with Libra and Scorpio. So you're looking for commitment, but also harmony and balance in these connections that you're making in every corner of your life. I do hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow. All right. If you are a Virgo or a Virgo rising, today's transit of Mercury and Uranus is going to impact who you are as an individual because Mercury, your ruling planet, is in your sign and Uranus is 
highlighting new directions. Where do we go from here? What do I want to learn or teach or explore? And how can I ensure that this is playing into my passions? There could be some unexpected news or breakthroughs or just some final clarity that comes in and you're going to feel like you're in a beautiful flow with it. So I really am excited to see how you use this energy. Now, once the moon moves into Cancer and we have that quarter moon, there could be some social angst or stresses around maybe your vision or your dream. But I do think this is more social, like your, your family connections, like the family that you chose connections or a group that you've been associated with. You're realizing that something here needs to change in order for me to grow in this direction. Something's holding me back. I definitely want to appreciate where I've come and honor that pathway. But I know something needs to end to begin. But because it's emotionally tied to you, that's where you're going to get that tension, that social angst. You may be witnessing this more than experiencing it personally. Either way, make sure you take the high road. You don't want to feed into any of the gossip or any of the drama. You want to look for solutions, not lean into the problems. All right, so Virgo and Virgo rising, your card of the day is the tower card. And I do realize that this card sometimes brings a little bit of tension. Just look at the artwork in there. It is a Mars card. It does mean change. We are looking for change, but it also brings change with opportunity. So some of those social dynamics that you're working with, it could feel like they're burning down or everyone's kind of escaping the ship. And, and that's very possible, but we're looking for the opportunity in the change. The tower always brings change that is needed. So if you hold that in mind, I think you're going to find some great ways to work with this. And that ruling planet of yours, Mercury, having a great conversation with Uranus, where do we go from here is probably going to be what you would want to lean into to help you through some of these tensions. All right. That is all the signs. I do hope that both the astrology and the tarot gave you some great insights about how you can work with the flow of this day. Now, remember, if you want to get any of these insights early, discounts on reports or readings with me, all you need to do is join the Moon Gateway membership for less than $5 a month. The link is underneath this broadcast. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. Look forward to seeing you there and next time.